Welcome to Didy Dye's Crafty Corner. My name is Diane and I'm so glad you stopped by. Good morning guys. Happy New Year. Today is my first video back in the new year. I believe it is January 3rd. We're going to be playing today with the Lawn Fawn Heart Treat Pouch. Um, I haven't taken it apart yet. I'll be cutting it apart in a minute. We're going to make this a couple of ways because I want to try it both ways. I'm going to do it with just the paper. Lawn Fawn um, paper is fantastic, but small kids and treat boxes don't normally um, pair so good. Not for more than a hot second around here, so I'm going to put it on 110 pound cardstock as well, and I'm going to um, find a heart that will go inside of here as a layer on my own and um, make it with a layer on top of it and then I'm also going to make it with the paper. So I'm going to show you both of them. We're going to get them put together, see what they look like and um, I'm going to see whether this is worth my time to do this for the treat pouches for the kids school or whether I should come up with something else. So now's a good time to get started, right? All right, let me get them cut up cut apart, the dies cut apart, and we're going to be using the Anna Griffin Express, Anna Griffith, Anna Griffin Express machine to cut them out. That's my go-to die cutting machine, has been for a few years. Um, I love it, just love it. I can't say enough about it, it's perfect. So we're gonna use that, we're gonna use it both on the paper and the cardstock, and we're gonna see how it does. So let's get started. Okay, so I've cut them all out. I've experimented a little bit and we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first one, I'm gonna make a shaker card. So the first thing I did was take some of my heart dies. I sandwiched them together to get this and I put the Lawn Fawn paper in the background and I used some hearts, some cutout hearts from another die I have and these little white hearts that come out of here. And I made a little shirt, shaker. This is gonna go on the front of our plain card stock, okay? So if you take an eight, uh, the normal size sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11, I think it is, and you uh, cut it in half, you can make two of these out of a half. So you could make two boxes out of one sheet of cardstock, okay? So what I did is I used the cardstock completely. You know, I used, as you can see here, I made the hearts here, and then I used the bows and the XOXOs and everything to make everything out of that one little piece of cardstock, except for my white trim. All right, so super easy. You Maybe you could see the folds. Um, with regular paper, you can cut both of the papers out at one time if you want to. The score lines are still fabulous, but you're just gonna push down. And on cardstock, I find it's actually easier than with paper. Um, paper wants to get a little wonky sometimes, but cardstock, sturdy. No, no problems at all. And then just score it down a little bit. You're gonna do the same thing. Actually, on one of these, you're gonna cut off one of the tabs right here, because you only need one. So it just doesn't matter which one she said on the um, Lawn Fawn site when I watched it. And then you're just, again, just gonna go folding on those score lines, and then take your bone folder and exaggerate it a little bit but it's so easy I mean you know there are dies out there that are not made as good as these where you have to fight with the score lines and the you don't have this problem with Lawn Fawn. Lawn Fawn is an amazing product all the way around okay so now what you're going to do is you're either going to use glue or you're going to use tape <coughs> Um, I'm going to use the tape even though I struggle with this tape, I'm not going to lie. But you're going to add the tape to the tab that you did not tear away, that you didn't cut away, I mean. You want to try to add it um, actually on there. I'm going to try to stay in frame for this entire video. Woohoo for that. And I cannot tear my tape. I know some people can. I can't, so I've got to cut it, which does not speed up the process one little bit, you know, which is where I normally do um, glue. But for the paper one, we'll do the glue. For the cardstock one, we'll do, um, we'll do the score tape, just so we can see, okay? 
All right, so that's that. So now all you're going to do is release your score tape, which, you know, that's easier said than done sometimes, right? Um, I'm just going to use my scissors and see if I can get it. Literally, sometimes this can take me forever to find it. Making sure I'm still. All right, and then the best thing to do from here is to go ahead and take, you want to be mindful of how this is, how the box is going to go together, right? So you want to make sure that your heart is where your heart needs to be. So, and this can be a little bit tricky. All right. So we're going to put this and this together. Just like that. And then the rest of the box is just going to come together. Now if you do this laying down flat, it'll be a little easier for you, for sure. Um, I can't see if it's down on the table. I've got to bring it a little closer to me. And there you go. You completed your box. Is that so easy? Literally. Okay. So then for the rest of the bells and whistles, I am going to be tying my string through here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and attach this. Now to make this back panel right here, I took a, a die that was smaller and then I set it on a piece of foam and I made the holes so that they would fit. Okay. But to make them a little rounder and just to make sure I went, th went through with my little tool here because I want to make sure I can get the whatever I'm using in here in through that hole. Now we're going to just go ahead and add, you could add score tape to this as well if you wanted to. I wanted to decorate the back. So all I'm going to do is make sure I can see through the holes and that it's kind of where I want it. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to come through with the ribbon and you're going to feed the ribbon. Now I'm going to be closing mine from this side. I mean this, I'm going to have the bow on the opposite side because I'm going to be using their bow on the front. So I'm just going to feed the ribbon through the holes. And again, for you guys, this would be easier. For me, it's a little wee bit challenging because I have arthritis, really bad arthritis. All right, so we got that one. And I left mine a little bit longer so that we could tie it however we wanted to tie it. I'm gonna pull this one through, make sure it's not wonky, and it is. There, pretty, huh? And then you're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna go through this hole, and then you're gonna come back through this hole Oh, good gravy. I'm trying to do it from the table and I can't see. Gotcha. Come on. All right. So it's going to look like that. And then you're going to feed it through the hole in the back. And sometimes when you're working with, um, when you're working, sometimes when you're working with a piece of fabric that's a little bit larger than what you need, just take a pokey tool and stick it through. Okay, and that closes the box. Super cute, right? All right, and then also included are these little trim pieces. Now this is where I got the little hearts that for the inside. And all you're gonna do is take your glue, or you could use tape again if that's what you wanna do. And you're going to put them on the edges. I'm gonna put it, uh, what side? My shaker's going to be on this side, so my hearts are going to be going this way. Think about it for just a second, because you're going to mirror it on the other side. I did not put enough glue on there. Perfect. 
perfect and then you're going to do the same thing over here only this time we're going to use enough glue because it's already popping up over here okay <coughs> I'm just going to hold that down for a second because it's not okay and then we're going to match it up on this side so if our hearts are going this way then we're going to just butt this up right here and then go right there and of course if you've used if you had used tape you wouldn't have to hold it for a second we're going to use tape on the next box okay isn't that pretty so pretty all right now this is the front of our box right here let's go ahead and close this like that oh this glue also guys in case you don't know here in south florida it's a little cold right now and we don't we don't run our heat because it's not that cold but it's you know my house is normally at a comfortable 74 78 all day and we're ranging in the 60s for most of the day now with no windows open and no ac and my glue does not like to work when it's cold true story now i suppose if you live in the cold and your glue is used to that you're not going to have that issue um, but i definitely have that issue now for the back i want it to stay i don't want to have to worry about i don't i just don't want to have to deal with that peel off tape over there so i am going to use my tape runner And I'm going to put some tape down. I'm going to go ahead and open this up a little bit so I can squeeze this down. And like I said, we're not worried about this because we're going to be opening it from the other side. I'm going to press it down. And there's our shaker. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now, for the... Um, what I did is I cut out two of these, the white pieces that you put your letters on, so I could make a shadow underneath. See how it's got two of it there? I enjoy seeing a shadow underneath there. And then I've got my little bow. I use the tiny little heart to put on there. And this is gonna go on the front. But first, I'm gonna go put this heart. And I need another, I want a white heart too. I think do I yeah I think I do all right so we're gonna go ahead and actually I want to pop up the pink one so let's get a little piece of tape why not why not have a little dimension on the back right okay and the white one we're just going to put down. So we're going to put the white one there. And we're going to pop this one up right there. See that glue? The glue just does not want to stick in this weather. So I apologize for that. It will if you leave it sit there long enough. But it doesn't stick immediately. Isn't that cute? All right, and then we're gonna add this to the front of it. Again, I'm gonna add some tape. And then I'm just gonna roll it over any place it's showing. Oh, it, that sticks good. And we're gonna stick this, sorry, I bumped the camera, guys. We're gonna stick this right in the middle. super pretty right and then all we have to do is tie our little bow on the back and we're done aren't they cute I think these are going to be easy enough for me to make enough for both of the kids classrooms if I get started now I and I like the paper I like the paper one as well so that's that one I also made a blue one off camera whoa so I got the pink and the blue this one I have three little hearts, this one I have two. 
Isn't it? Aren't they cute? All right, now let's put the paper one together real quick. So the video is going to be a little longer because I'm showing you how to put it together instead of me just showing you my projects. But as you can see with the paper, you just don't get that same... You know, you got to be a little more careful with the paper than you do with the, um, with the cardstock, in my opinion. Not only is it a little harder to see, but you know, the, the paper just wants to, sometimes just wants to go where the paper wants to go and not necessarily where you want it to go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and burnish these down because I want this to be going kind of as quick as possible. All right, so we've got that one ready. This one, we're gonna go ahead and trim off our one side right here like that, and then we're going to go ahead and burnish everything down. Now oh, we got a double hole right there for that. Didn't see that, but it'll be fine. Nobody's going to see that but me. Um, yeah, it's super hard to see the lines in the in the paper. especially this lighter paper. The other one I did was easier to see, but it was a little bit darker. So like I said, I did a couple of these off camera because I didn't want to spend an hour, but you know, I didn't need to refresh my memory. The Lawn Fawn video was super clear as to what we needed to do, so that was cool. Um, let's see. You know what? We're just going to use our glue. I'm going to, I'm going to, no, I'm not. I'm going to use a tape runner. Why not? It's on the desk, right? Okay. And then again, the tricky part is just lining it up. And she said, and I'm going to do it this time. If you just lay it down, being mindful of your hearts. That's the biggest thing. You want to make sure your hearts are still going in the right direction. So you're going to lay it down and you're going to butt it up. Now from here, I can't see my score lines. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to bring it to me. And you're just going to line up those edges just like that. So see, you should have a mirror image there. Oh. There we go. Okay. And then from there, it's super, super easy. This is going to go in, this is going to go up, this is going to go up. That's going to get hooked right there. And then this is going to get hooked right there. And it's closed. Isn't it pretty stinking adorable? Okay, for this one, we're going to do the same thing, only guess what? <laughs> I'm not messing with that glue right now. Now, when I come back to this glue later on, it's going to be fine. But I was going to use this for this anyway, because for this one, we're going to do something a little special. So we're going to go ahead and add this down. And you can see how you can see the tape through there. We actually want that for this, because we're going to be adding some glitter right there. Only I forgot the biggest part to that. All right, so what I did on the other one is I took a piece of blue cardstock and I backed it behind those hearts like that. And then I trimmed it. Now it's really not gonna make a big difference as you can see, right? But on the other one it did, so that's why I'm pointing it out to you. And then you're gonna do the same thing, just go ahead and tap it down because this paper doesn't show as much as the other one you don't really have to worry about it and the glitter is going to hide any of the little white spots okay so now we've got our hearts going in the same direction this one also it doesn't matter which way we're going to be going with our do head or our thing 
we're going to go ahead and put our string in. And actually this holds easier because it did get double punched. And I don't really know how that happened, but it did. Okay, so there's our first one. Now we're going to do our second one. And again, we're just going through the front, wanting to make sure we get a nice, just like that. And then, now, here's the key. You could leave your little holes open right here. And you could feed this through as well. I'm just going to tape mine on. But you could do that. You could take, you could feed this through all of it. But I want to put their little bow on there. So I'm going to um, feed mine through. I'm sorry. I know I was off camera for that. Perfect. And then you just pull it closed. Is that not ingenious? Do you not love it? I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to take one of these and we're just going to, you can see it's got the little imprints right there. We're just going to add a little bit of this and actually just touching the glue. It's so cold. And I don't even live in a cold area. I'm just going to add a couple little dots just like that. I'm going to take my wax pencil. And I'm going to go ahead and put my letters on. So we're going to do our X. I'm going to come back and clean up any glue that I need to clean up. Now on the corners of these letters, there are little dots. Those dots are invaluable if you don't feel like you can line up your letters because the dots are going to be top, bottom, and side to side. See how pretty that is? And this, see how that glue just moved? Just, just moved. Okay. This I cut out in the wrong color, so we're going to hold for a second. Okay, I forgot I wanted to do this in blue, the blue shadow. So I want to show you how, I, how I'm working the shadow. So I cut out two of the colors that I want, and I'm sure you guys have done this before. You're going to go ahead and add your glue or your tape or whatever you're going to use. You're going to take your piece that you want to be over the shadow, and you're just going to place it. You would do this with your letters or anything else that you wanted to do this for. And you're just going to go like that. And then you're going to take your second one. And this does two things. This adds dimension. And it gives it a nice pop behind it. And I know what I did. I actually wanted to reverse this. I wanted to have everything in reverse. But that's not what I did. So we'll be fine. And then you're just going to do that. Right? All right, so that's our one piece. And now we're going to take our little bows. So here's the little bow that it comes with. It is so sweet. We're just going to go ahead and give it a little a little thing like that. And this is actually going to be a little nightmare for sure because you know what? I'm not even going to mess with it. I'm just not. That glue is just not going to hold. So then we're just going to take that bow down. And if I were using my glue, I would just hold it, but I'm not. And then we're going to take the little tab and we're going to fold it over. And then we're going to fold it over again. And then this, you can either make it go down, you know, you can take it apart and make it go down. Or what I'm doing is just twisting it just ever so slightly like this 
to give it a little bit of a curve. Oh, that worked better than expected. Okay. And then we're just going to add this right to it. Just like that. That worked so much better than the glue today. Not even joking. All right, and then I'm going to add a little bit more tape right there. I forgot I had a little tape runner I could do this if I wanted to. And I'm going to put the bow right there. Pretty. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to keep going with this, right? Tape runner that way. Tape runner that way. And then I'm going to fold it over wherever we see it. And I want this on this side. Just like that. And then over here, I'm going to do a little thing like that. I'm going to join them just like that. Make it a little different, right? And then I'm just going to put a couple of squares on the back I'll do three okay and I'm going to place that right about there and then all we've got to do is tie our little bow right here. Now, I didn't do any with the critters, you know, coloring a critter or anything yet, but I'm going to because this is super easy. I like the fact that this is all die cuts. And I'm going to make this bow better when I fill it, you know, or when I'm done. But there, just do your little bow, then trim it. I don't want to trim it now because I don't know how much is going to be in there. Wouldn't this be so freaking cute for a baby shower too? Isn't it so cute? That could have been a little straighter. And then here is the other one. Oh, what I was going to say is that with this glue right here, right? So with the glue, with the tape that's already there, what I did on this one is I just came in and I added some diamond dust right in the middle right there just to give it a little, a little bit of something, right? And it's going to stick to your tape that you put on the bottom. And look, look how sweet that is. And especially would be cute for, you know, a baby shower, if that's what you were going to use it for. This is for Valentine's Day, but you could use this for a baby shower. Instead of putting love, you could put baby on the front. How cute would that be? cute okay so let me clean this up and I'll show you all of them I think they turned out super cute what a fun way to spend a morning really just super super was a lot of fun okay all right so there's the first one made out of the lawn fawn paper the paper does just give it some elegance doesn't it now of course you would make your bow much cuter much smaller you know of course and then you got that little side right there, which is just adorable. And for this one, I went ahead and I did all of it in glitter. And I've got the twine on there. Super pretty. I like the contrast on this one. And then these I did bright and bold and they're shakers and I just love them. And this is the cardstock. I mean, the kids can carry this around all day and it's just not, it's not going to break. So I, I like the cardstock and you, what you could do as well is you could double these up. You could put your paper over your cardstock and just glue it down if you wanted to. But for, you know, parties or, you know, kids parties or whatever, um, you know, I don't know that I'm going to be doing, I, I don't know that I'll do that. I think I'll just use 
the cardstock and then figure out what I'm going to place on top of it. I wish there, and there might be, there might be one of her dies. The only dies I have of her, of Lawn Fawn, is stitching dies, and they were not this shape. So she might have a die that is this shape that I'm not aware of where we could do our own um, shakers and have it match a little better, but I think I, I think it matched pretty good. So that's what I did. I am so excited. What a great way to spend my first video with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.